What is up everyone? This is Jedi from Eternal Journey and we are going to be doing the Sealed League for this month, the month of what, February? Yeah, we're in February now, yeah, which is Price of Freedom. So let's do it. I had to make sure I had enough gold because I'm trying to be as free to play as I can. So let's get in there. Hopefully we get lucky and open up some really good stuff. Ooh, I actually kind of like that card back. I don't think it's going to replace my sloths, but... Alright, let's tease and start with the beginning first. Come on, legendary. Or a couple good rares I'll take. Let's see if there's anything... Uh, executes good. I like that. I don't want too many in my deck, but it's fine. I do like Rampage. And... Give one more. Uh, Soul Collector is not bad either, so that's two that kind of go in. Uh, I played in the last ECQ Chewbacca. I didn't do very well. I don't even remember how many rounds it was. Um, I had a winning record, but not by what much. Only, I think, one or two rounds uh, ahead. I really don't remember. Uh, and then last month's league, I finished top 1,000. I think I finished like 650, 630, something like that. So it was uh, 2510, right? 2515 was my record there. Um, eh, I haven't really played with this card to know if it's crazy good or not. So yeah, let's see. Oh, well, uh, have you played any tournaments, Chewbacca? All right, let's see what else we got going on here. Ooh, I do like Spider Fang. I like deadly units, uh, especially later in the game. Uh, it's just for me. Eh, I guess it's this is like soft removal. Not really thrilled about it. It could upgrade one of your guys. Uh, this displacer is okay, and I do like fledgling. I think it's fine. It's not crazy good or anything, but it's a fine card. Ooh, impending doom is solid. I like this. Um, it does one damage to you, but being a five five on turn four or five potentially in limited, like your opponent just has to have to answer. And if they don't, you have you can run away with the game and steal it. So sweet. It's a good pull. I'll take that. What else we got? Come on, legendary. All right, let's see. I do like Tranquil Squalor. It's a two two for two, which is solid. You'll put it in all your decks, but it also has the chance of buffing one of your guys. So I like that. Skywalker Instructors. Okay, it's not bad. If you have some beefy creatures, if you pair it with time or uh, justice, you can give one of your bigger guys flying. That's great. Uh, I do like Mortar. Mortar is a solid removal spell. It can go to your opponent's face. And Blood Call Invoker, I haven't really had too much luck with. I don't think I've actually played that deck, per se. And uh, Hellhound. Mm, I think it's fine. I don't think I need it anyways. I think I only have three of those, so sweet. Uh, let's see what we got. What we got? Uh, nothing doing here, actually. Another invoker, which I mean, we could potentially run time. We'll see what we get in defiance. Uh, we we're probably gonna run shadow. Uh, Erectodon is fine. And if we are that like life gain deck, then we got it. Let's see what rare is. Ooh, I got. All right, well, that one's not exciting. Uh, it's a 6-6 six, six for 7, because it counts itself as a stranger, but we'll see how many other strangers we're playing. I don't really think it's worth playing. Like, I think just a vanilla 6-6 six, six for 7, we could do way better than that. We'll see if we hit, like, a critical mass of strangers or something. Uh, which is a shame, because it looks like it might potentially be in our colors, so we'll see. All right, what else? Uh, Iceberg Scattershot, I think it's fine. I'm not really sure in limited. Maybe it's not that good. Uh, I like Tinker. Kill enemy with more than one faction. I guess having one in limited isn't bad because you might come across like one of the multicolor cards. I do like Hair Trigger. I think the fact that it gives something deadly, especially in colors that have unblockable and flying is awesome. And the fact that you could play Happy Trigger uh, the turn you play it really goes far. I've really not played with Transmogrifier, so... Ooh. Ava, and you know, I keep getting her in Limited. I'm not gonna lie. And, like, she's not bad. Like, she's won some games for me, but sometimes she's been very uneventful. So, cool. All right, let's see. Uh, I didn't really see much Primal support on the other packs. So let's see where we're at. Come on, Legendary. All right. So, mug, ooh, I do like Tunneling Gargantua. I like that. 
Uh, there's a good blue incentive in Corey Albatross because it's just great all the way up the curve. Uh, let's see. Grand Fox, it's not bad having one if you're in that color. All right, let's see. Uh, the enemy player discards the top three cards of their deck. You know, man, I don't know. So, a mill is, is typically bad, i.e. taking cards from the top of your opponent's deck and putting them directly into the void because, I mean, you're essentially, we're playing 45 card decks, so you, and it doesn't matter how much you mill them until they're dead. You know what I mean? Like, if you're doing damage to them, then it kind of matters as you can whittle them down. But if you mill them down to one card and you lose, it makes no difference. If, you know, um, and typically mill is bad because it's so much more life for your opponent. But in limited, so our opening hand is going to be typically seven cards, right? And they're going to draw. So that puts them at eight, right? So now we're talking about them having 30 cards. So you have to activate this 10 times because they're gonna still be drawing cards. So maybe it might be a thing. I might give it a shot just for the stream purposes and play it, especially if you get down early on turn two. All right, let's see. Uh, ooh, I do like New Order Watch Wing. This card is really good. It's a solid card that I want in the sixth slot because the four four flyer is huge. Plus you get a free weapon out of it. I like it. I do like Makeshift Barrier. Um, Locust is just fine, but it's a good card. Uh, let's see. <laughs> All right, Highland Sharpshooter. I think that was actually the first card I crafted in Defiance. It's pretty funny every time I open it. Come on, playable purple, purple shadow. All right, let's see. Uh, Mob rule. I like that. I do like Curator Spear as well. Cabal Stranger is just fine. So, okay, okay, not bad. Let's see. Uh. Rejection. Oh, gross. Man, I kind of don't even want to play this deck, honestly. All right, we'll see what we got. Ugh, I had four of those rears already. All right, yeah, bummer. Oh, well. All right, let's go to deck building. See what we got. All right, so for sure, I want to put Shadow in there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I think Beetle's okay. We'll see. Scavenger. Maybe I do like this. Oni player puts the top card. Burp, burp. Not exciting. Spear is a good removal spell. Uh, mob rule. Yes, yes. Mug. I don't know yet. Scheme. Draw one of the top four cards of your deck. Put it. There. Yeah, we definitely want that. Uh, Alley bouncer is fine. Excuse good. This guy may be flying. We're going to try the death cap. Uh, yeah, definitely running doom. Cripple. May or may not be worth a removal spell. Uh, definitely like the Intimidator. Soul Collector is solid as well. I didn't see Strangers. And uh, let's see, Purple, Red, Green, maybe. Purple, Blue. And this is obviously going in. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and just slap Cripple in there, but I'm probably gonna take it out. Uh, of note, we didn't get any really solid removal like Cut Ties or Suffocate. So that is a thing. So we'll see. Um, at the end of your turn, play resident ER with the life equal to the gain. And we have no way of gaining life actually. Uh, that is a thing. If we had, we have just this one dude that gains us life. So that might not be a thing. Let me see the body on it as well. So five, three, five for five is fine. We may end up playing it if we have a reason to go time. Okay, so. I'll put these guys in here, but I'm expecting to cut them. So our other rare, we have flyers. Let's see. So this gives us two drops. Uh, one flyer, but we don't have weapons. We do have card draw. A couple ways of card draw and two rares. Uh, it could potentially less splash mortar. And yeah, because we have one blue red. That's it. Not much fixing. I don't think this card is good enough to just splash on its own. We really have to support from time. So let's look at time. We have Locust, we have Pack Beast, not thrilled about Refresh. Units, five more costs, one less, that's fine. Two, two for two. What else we got? Two solid, four, five. Double the cost of a card in your name hand, that's okay. 
and you put a plus one weapon on another unit. Yeah, nothing still, nothing really great, but not bad. Time might be what we play this time. It, it has decent early game. I think you could still lose. So let's look at justice now. Uh, justice, we have ooh axe sharpener. I do like that. Uh, stalwart silver is fine. Oh no, okay, get out of there. Let's see. Scholar, flyer, flyer. Hmm. Tinker. And it has our. We'd have that one still. Oh, and we do have. I'll be cutting blue, yeah. So we can't play that. We play green time. Green blue would give us this. Ooh, we have two green red. Also, maybe we do. Green red, red green, and red or blue green. Hmm. But yeah, but then again, sharpshooter. We don't have any real way to capitalize on it, so I don't think it's that spectacular here. It would give us access to flyers though, and we could press the advantage. Uh, all right, I like that. And then fire, I don't really, I didn't see anything glorious about fire. Let's double check. Uh, of note, if we get scatter shot, we do have that one ray that works. We have double damage, but other than that, not really exciting. Mortar is about the really big thing. What do we do? Play green, red? Let me go back to time real quick just to make sure. So time didn't have anything on the top end we like, right chat? Yeah, I don't think there's enough in here to pull us in the time. I think we do, I do like having a couple of solid flyers and card draw and then we go green. So we just negate red. So let's see, let's see what that looks like. If we just kind of Go ham on the blue, green. Let's see. Do, do. Scott draw card two. All right. Yeah, I think we might play this. Transform a unit into a. Yeah, it costs one more, but if they have like a fire or something that's annoying, we can't get rid of. All right, and then let's take our green in there, and then let's start making some cuts. When you play a spell, nope, I don't like that guy. Nope. So these two maybe, these two not gonna play him. We don't have weapons for that guy. We just have the one. It does it as four though. And of note also that we really don't have anything to trigger Renown on this guy. Um, so we're lacking a little bit of synergy, but all right, blue, green, and green, purple. So both the sigils will go in and I think shield bash is good enough to put in all right cool so let's look at what we got and start making some cuts typically like to set it up to where we're really only splashing one color the only problem with splashing primal is that well the ellen's elite right is it the only double if we keep shadow we get beetle which is not exciting scavenger which is one form of lifesteal but i'm not thrilled about snake that I really don't want early. Mournful Dem Cap. I don't think we do it here. So yeah, I think I might actually. What else do we got? Cripple, Scheme, Execute, Mob Rule. All cards that we want late in the game. Yeah, let's so let's cut unstable form. I think we cut mask, because it is. Let's see, trigger I like, especially with Watch wing. So let's cut purple or shadow. We'll keep the fang because that's removal. Cut all these early drops. Uh, we don't have a wisp to give this guy flying, and then our threes are one, two, three threes. I think that's okay. So we're a little heavy on the top end, but not by much, right? I think we could probably cut the brawler. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is looking pretty good actually. Uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely check it out, Nate. Um, the Wednesday class, since it's the afternoon one, 
and we only have the one class it is actually uh mixed levels it's like one slash 1.5 sometimes depending on the people we get and uh from what you did in uh southern fried like i feel like you have at least a solid foundation so yeah it wouldn't hurt definitely come out you'll enjoy it it's a good time all right let's see all right we gotta make some more cuts so let's try to not be greedy um i think we can cut the hatchling i'm not excited about a flyer give a unit a weapon we can cut the tinker i do like the axe so we have how many things we might cut cripple as well actually I don't know how scouting party is. I really don't. Um, we're not capitalizing on it spitting out a bunch of dudes, but it can draw us cards potentially. So that's why I may put it in there just to try it. Uh, I like shield bash. Cripple might be the cut. Scheme helps us dig a little bit deeper. Execute. Spear is a removal spell for small things. Uh, do we need another flyer? Maybe. What, what do we want to give flyer flying to? I mean, everything kind of flies, really. So, we, oh, well, where's the guy that dies? Oh, yeah, this combo's off with the party. Okay. And if we give this guy flying or this guy flying, like, that's pretty legit, actually. <clears throat> we got 18 guys. I don't really want to cut any lower. Oh, forgot about all this let me cut i always do that let me see 26 oh we're actually fine 35 so i actually made a few more cuts than i needed to all right well let's add power anyways <clears throat> 18 power i like that but we're gonna cut uh let's cut one shadow and one i think it's more important to get double blue is it not really. Both of our double costs are a little bit higher in the curve. <clears throat> uh, let's, yeah, sure. We'll cut there. So let's go back. We'll add our two multi faction ones because that's great. And we get to put one card in there. So what do you guys want to add, chat? Do you want removal? Do you want a unit? Uh, relic weapon? What's up? What we got? We got back in. Do we put cripple back in? Maybe we do. I like killing stuff. <laughs> do we run death cap? No, it's double shadow. So maybe the wisp. Yeah, I think it might actually be the wisp here. What else do we got? Once per turn, you can pay two to give one of your units a plus three minus two. Not thrilled about that. Uh, we're doing life, wall, maybe a three, five, what are we at? Five, five, one, two, none of these really block well. Well, we got, I think we'll be okay. And then we're putting in an, like, yeah, oh yeah, because we're not even playing time, never mind. We got a little carried away. Uh, let's look back at shadow. So maybe we do take the upgrade. Unstable form, transform a unit into a random unit. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's play that. Give it a shot. All right, make sure there's nothing else we really want. Negate an enemy spell. Enemy player discards all copies in their hand. Yeah, that's not really important. So I don't want to play four. Keep four up for this. Um, and even though we have two red sources, I think putting mortar in would be very greedy of us. So I don't want to do that. And... Yeah, we'll just run that. Cool. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's go to games. Man, a bunch of people are playing today. All right. Let's do it. See what's up. All right, let's give us a good matchup. Good matchup. Uh, hmm. And we're going first. No, I think we can do better. I don't like keeping two power hands. I think it's way too risky. There we go. This is a little bit better. Two, three. Yeah, I like that. And then we can, oh. Well, of note, we are missing blue there. All right, let's.
let's see. So let's go ahead and just get a shadow. Thanks, buddy. You taking off? All right. Well, we got a 2-2, two -two, so I will take that. And uh, yeah, let's... Hmm. I'm actually going to run the armor first. Because I want to give one of these guys, give this guy a battle skill. Give the armor a battle skill. Uh, let's, yeah, screw it. Give the armor a battle skill. What do we get? Endurance. Okay, not bad. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's uh, continue to be efficient with our power, so we will just play the wall. Oh, come on, power one time. One time. Um, I want to shoot him, hit him in the... F they could have a defiance here. I think I'm going to try to bait it out with... Yeah, I'll wait. I'll try to bait it out with the axe sharpener versus, like, this guy, because the barrier can become a wall. Yeah, I see we need it anyway, so... Uh, cripple. Ooh. Is that fast spell? It is not a fast spell. Yeah, sure. Well, let's just use it now. And we'll keep playing our power. It would be really nice right now if we can get primal. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh. All right. Well, I, I got to admit, we're top decking pretty well right now. Let's go ahead and get in there. Start, keep pressing the advantage. Play our little deadly dude. Doobie, doobie doo. Uh, that's a problem. That's a big problem, which we would have had an answer to should we have primal. Uh, uh, all right, come on. Oh, this card's so good. It's huge. Do we have an answer for it? Yeah, we do. We have the upgrade. We have, uh, well, we can't, so, oh, execute doesn't work on that guy. That's great. I always get worried when someone plays second sight because I'm assuming they have like an echo card. All right. No. Nope. Yeah, all right, all right. Ooh, okay, we can double block that dude. Okay, cool. We got kind of lucky there. Oh, wow. Guys, deck's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. We will still 100% double block, bro. I'm not gonna sit here and take five. Attack, attack, attack. Oh, bummer. All right, well, let's scheme. Uh, we can bash. I'll draw us a card. Here's our primal. Yeah, ugh, this is super awkward. Uh, what can we do? Man. I really, oh, well, we need the primal anyway, so let's just take the primal because, yeah. Um, oh, that was awkward. Put it, what, at the bottom of our deck? Yeah, so we're not going to get the one removal spell. We keep taking one, but we're kind of a stalemate. Our opponent can't attack us. All right. Hmm. We take five, then we can make this guy a flyer. Oh, let's just get this guy off the board. <laughs> Wonder why he did that though. Ooh. Hmm. 
No, let's just get gets the flying. And yeah, no sense in spitting out the whirly. Let's nope, like I can't shift, so we'll pass. Yeah. Um, I was gonna give one of these guys flying, but I don't think there's a point to it. We're gonna like he has a flyer. We're only gonna draw one card off of it. All right. So we're in trouble right now, just because we need to get an answer to this guy. This guy's gonna become a three four, so we won't be able to just trade openly with it. Okay. All right, so if we go here, he'll kill one guy. Yeah, I like that. And then if we double block. Yeah, we saw some other things, so I'm good there. So let's just double block here. I gotta keep this guy back for this dude or this dude. Yeah, I'm okay with that. All right, so let's turn this dude back. That way you can block one of these dudes. We'll get in there. He'll just happily take it. Yep, and then I'll play this dude, play that, and then next turn we'll go scouting party. It would be really nice if we had that life gain chick out already, the soul collector or whatever, because then we could trade a little more effectively and potentially start growing up a big monster i mean they do have a deadly but so the battles could be one in the sky luckily we got rid of their one big flyer and we've only lost one of our flyers so is that permanent that's a little awkward no. gutsy I'll block here and take three good, sir. There we go. All right. Uh, sure. So, and there's an argument. I could also equip this swing, but I think I want to keep it down for the block. Play this guy and pass. And I'll trade here. <laughs> mm-hmm. This card's looking less less appealing until we get that Soul Collector. I think that's the big Wombo combo we have here. Yeah, we're losing the race, so I will trade. Yep. Luckily, our opponent's playing all their stuff beforehand, so... Alright. Well, that gives me a bunch of blockers. Next turn, if I have nothing to do, then I'll do the combo of shift, swing, shift back. Uh, let's go ahead and play this, and I'll leave this in my hand so they think I may have something. Oh, that actually combos with the scatter shot. Man, now I wonder if I do splash red. Because if we have the scatter shot and this guy, these guys trigger right off the bat, hit the opponent for four, and draw four cards. Uh, that might actually be worth it. There we go. Now we're going to start to pull ahead. Let's get in there. Now we're putting our opponent in the back foot because they have to have an answer. Oh, I should have tacked with one thing. That was my bad. I forgot tribute. I was thinking it was um, spark. All right, that's a little awkward, but we can chump block all day. All right, so what are the most efficient blocks here? Let's block here. And then we can block here what does not kill us block here and then let's see so that's not gonna roll over we'll, so we'll take three five six and then we block one two take three yeah, because they have something in hand, so I don't want to risk it. I think this is fine. Okay, what's blocking this? That guy. One. Yeah, let's see what this does. K 
Okay, we swing in the air, that's seven. Oh, but we could play a bunch of blockers too. So let's see. All right, so we have one power. <clears throat> we'll hit two, six, seven, eight. That puts our opponent at five. We have three blockers, one, two, three. So on the ground, we would just get one in, and I'm assuming he would not let the blocker. So, and this is gonna give us two guys for one. So yeah, let's shift, swing. Ooh, I hate when it does that. Always makes me nervous. Boom. There we go. And now we just don't wanna die, so play, play, and turn back into a blocker. Yeah, sweet. Nice, that was fun. A little bit of a nail biter, but hey, we got there. Man, that's the fun thing about limited. Sometimes it's just, the games are so close. So close. All right, so let's go back into deck building real quick. And, because that is a really good combo. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, where is it? I think it's, there it is. So, oops. So Scattershot says, when you play a unit, including itself, it deals one damage to an enemy player, which typically like, so you just sit there and ping them. But when you go back to, where's the Scattershot that I take it out of the deck? Oh, it's four, my bad. Um, so when you look at, where is it now? Scouting party. It says, creates four Yeti spies, which when they infiltrate, i.e. deal damage to opponent, they draw a card. So if you have the scatter shot in play and then play uh, scouting party, you get four spies that trigger four times, so they all hit the opponent for four, and they all trigger their infiltrate, so they all draw a card. Kind of feel that that combo is kind of worth it, believe it or not. Oh, this is not a coward stream. All right, let's give it a shot. It's a little greedy, but I mean, we can't lose after that, right? We get four blockers, and we do full damage and draw four cards. Like, so we do have to add, let's cut. I want one more, so let's cut. How important is it to get a, I think it's less important than green, because our green's early. So what do we have early purple shadow? Yeah, all right, so we'll cut. Uh, we'll cut one shadow. Cut one shadow, we'll put it in the fire, and then we need to make a cut on our playables. And what was the one? Was a cripple the one that we snuck back in there? Unstable form. Cripple or unstable form? Cripple or unstable form? I think maybe unstable form because it gives us echo, so it puts us up one. Yeah, it's cheaper too. All right, let's go uh, add that one fire sigil and we will have at it. Cool. That's a little greedy. I'm not going to lie, chat. I will accept that that is a little greedy, but I think the payoff ability is there. So, yeah. Alright, sorry, I had to fix my chair. Alright, let's get in game two. Oh man. Alright, hopefully we get there. That was kind of exciting, not gonna lie. That nail, that was, that was really clutch. I wonder why they attacked. I, I, they could have sat there and potentially just let the, the Doom Whisperer kill us, but... Mm, that's a little tough. 
So we want Tinker or do we want Snow Slinger? And I think we want Tinker and we just shipped a Slow Slinger. So I'll keep this. All right, oh, perfect. That cleans up everything. So now, hmm, might wait on the Tinker then because I really do like getting the Tinker out of it. So let's play this, get our green. Oh, and we got a turn four Doom. All right, let's see if we do it. All right, that's fine. Oh, and I, we're just doing it all. Just doing it all. All the stuff and things. All right. And yeah, let's just go all with the Doomer. Get double damage, double damage, double damage. What do we get, what do we get? Oh no, man, you've got to be kidding me. It gave me flying. Oh, what a disappointment. Well, they're not going to... Oh, man, this card's going to be really good for them. All right, let's get in there. Now we definitely have to race them. I think we have a good chance at racing them, but... Ooh, and I do like going wide with... Now that we have this to play on five, create a snowball, endurance... Maybe wait. Oh, uh, yeah, so let's get this guy out there. Pass. It's great that he's not attacking. All right, so we can't attack with this guy anymore, which is a bit of a bummer. I mean, we could. We can keep him deadly. Is that... Ooh, actually, I just... Yeah. Actually, I think instead of playing another unit, I actually just think I put this on him and start swinging in the air. Because now he's going to try... He'd be encouraged to spend something to kill this dude. And then I can drop the doom on... Impending doom on him. Oh, that's so good. Oh, no kidding, Ross. I had no idea. I thought it was part of the... Oh, man. Now I feel dumb. Good looking out. Yeah, I'm just going to kill this guy. Which means he has a trick, but... Oh, he doesn't. That's crazy. He let the trailblazer... Oh. That's why. Okay. All right. Well, let's get in there. Stick to our game plan. Man, thanks for saying that, Ross. I had no idea, not gonna lie. I, I've seen that with other triggers, but uh, all right, well that's, hmm. Oh, that's why I did it, because now, yeah, that's pretty good. He's a racing, he's got two chump blockers. Or, uh, Oh, that's right. That's right. Because we, we got the tribute. All right. Let me see. Let me see. What do we have here? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. Let's tinker. This is a little awkward. So if we attack with this, we'll probably just triple block to kill this dude. We lose that race. We got to leave him back to kill this one. We are taking one from impending doom. So let's... Tinker. I want to kind of keep. Oh, well, we might be being greedy with the scatter shot. Let's tinker away. But this guy's not doing anything either. Yeah, I'm going to be a little greedy. Tinker this guy away. Let's tinker. See what we get. Bash. Yeah, it gives us two turns with this guy. We can kind of get in there and it draws us a card, gives us a little bit of life gain. I think I'm okay with that. So it kind of replaces itself. Let's get in there with Doom. So, ooh. Ooh. That, hmm. Oh, because they're going to try to, no, they can't race us. Oh, they leave one back. Oh, that's right. 
I hate that stupid card. All right, well, that's fine. We'll block here, take eight. Puts us to five, and we have two guys. Oh, we have, oh, yeah. He's got a blocker. Okay. Mm-hmm. So this guy's not getting through. Let's see, how do we do this? If we bash, yeah, he's got enough ground blockers, so that's not a thing. We're gonna go to four, so the flyers alone will kill us. Oh, we have, oh man, I wish that was a unit. All right, what do we do, what do we do? We just have to swing, right? Let's, what do we bash? I guess we bash the biggest thing, because it doesn't silence it. Oh my god, that would have got us there. Oh, if we had one more power. And I never tooled it away. Oh, that's so bummer. The two damage from this on any one of these guys would have done the job. Uh, let's see. All right, I guess we... One, two. We block. If he doesn't get a power... If he gets a power, we're dead. If he doesn't, then one, two, three, four, five, six... Ooh, and we're at one. No, we're never mind. Because this guy's gonna do one to us at the end of our turn. Oh, I should have left him back. That's where I messed up. That was my fault. If I left him back, yeah. So block one guy. Oh man, we had a couple outs to this. Yeah, don't attack. Don't attack. Don't don't don't. Leave a blocker. Leave a blocker. Yes, leave a, yes, yes, yes. Oh, we might sneak this one out. Oh, this is excellent. We totally just stole this game. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna totally tweet this. Oh, skin of our teeth. Yep, and we will just, boop. Oh man, <laughs> wow. That is crazy. That is crazy. I feel like he should have gone for it there. Well, it would have been Xaxes. I guess we could have hit him on the crack back. I mean, I could see. I don't think they were wrong to do that, but I think they should have also gone for the throat there. Oh, wow. That was great. That was awesome. All right, let's see. We have all our colors. Um, we will, ugh, it is a little slow though. I'm a little worried about that. We'll probably just end up playing the Albatross on three. Um, we are going first, so I think that's pseudo okay. Yeah, I'll keep it. So we have, yeah, we literally have all four colors. That's crazy. All right, so let's knock out our depleted shadow. And of course, never fails. Oh my god. Every time I keep a slow hand, like the opponent is playing aggro. Every time. Uh, that's horrible. So we're going to play... Yeah, we're going to play our Justice there. Reason being, we have only one card in our deck that does fire, so there's no reason to potentially waste a slot. We could get another three drop that's a little bit better. Yep. All right. Oh, okay. That's, that's helpful. So let's kill... Yeah, we're just gonna... Yeah, I think I'd rather just straight up kill something, stop him from getting Warcry, and then next turn playing this. We're not gonna get the Amplify on it, but you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, yep, just run on dude so we don't get smashed. 
of note, we could potentially at least give it, make it a 5-3 flyer, so I'm okay with that. Mm. Uh, do I trade here because we have this as a follow-up and we have nothing to give flying? Yeah, I think we want to conserve our life total here. I'm okay with that trade. Yeah, cool. So our opponent's not doing much anyways. Why'd I open my mouth? All right. Well, I'm going to play this dude, and sadly he has to trade. Let's see. So we play this dude for no value. We don't block one turn, then we give it deadly, and then we can block bird two for winning ourselves. We can play. We could take two hits from that, put us at 12. He's gaining life as well. What are our options? We could play this, and then play... Hmm. Yeah, I might have to just try to go the draw crowds route. <sighs> I don't really want a two for one us this early. They're at four cards already. I mean, we could potentially get some back with scouting party, but now I wonder if I should hold off. Oh, wait, my bad. That was on me. Uh, maybe I will hold off on scouting party. See if I can combo it off since we already have the fire. It might be wishful think. Uh, all right, well, I'm definitely going to have to... This thing is ridiculously good. And the remaining power to give it that much. So, this is awkward. We can't take two hits from this thing. We just keep taking four. we play this on this we can block here and save us one swing from this guy but then we just for sure die to this guy in the air versus we have the potential of drawing something we do have a couple of, yeah I think I think this is the play sadly oh he yeah, has overwhelm right no, he doesn't. Okay, he could be chump block. Oh, man. Okay. Now I feel like I should have yetied there. All right, that was... Take 12? We just can't. There's no freaking way we could take 12. Uh... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ugh, gross. We're not out of it yet. We're just very much on the back foot. Luckily, these guys are going to buy us some time. All right. Well, we got a chump block first. Do we swing? Swing keeps... It. Yeah, he's gaining life. This We can't... We're not in the position to race. <clears throat> I can scheme and then put this to kill this guy. So do this, then scheme and this to kill that. <clears throat> yeah, let's do that. Oh, that's kind of cool. They all yell party at the same time. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Luckily, this guy can be chump block, so that's a step in the right direction for us. This guy, we very much will use that echo shapeshift thing for sure. Oh, man. <laughs> all right, well, we this game is... Escalating way out of control. Uh, chump block. I'm still holding out on. All right, let's see. All right, well, let's scheme. See what we can dig up. Hmm, this is actually interesting. So we can take the deadly unit and for sure get rid of one, or we can insatiable, unstable form and potentially give them an upgrade, but get rid of two problematic units. Hmm. Because we can get rid of, turn this into something. It's gonna be a three, I think. Yeah, I think the way the game works, it registers it as a three power or three power, not a six. And then we can get rid of this guy, and then we just have to figure out how to deal with this dude, which we can potentially 
Yeah, I think we do. I think we get the card that gives us an answer to both. I mean, it doesn't straight up get rid of them, which is a little unfortunate, but such is life. Uh, do I attack you to draw a card? I don't think so. Uh, so let's get rid of this guy first. Cool, and get rid of this guy. Okay. Yeah, we'll pass. Um, hmm. And now there's an argument for me to take two here or not. We're at a pretty significantly low life total. So, you know, if I put this on this, then it could block this without potentially lose dying. I could block both of them. Yeah, I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to take two here, go down to six. Oh, well, crap. I think that was it, though. I think we just lost there. Opponent kind of had it all. <sighs> Let's see. Put it on this. Block this dude. Then five gets through. Jump, jump. Oh, six. Yeah. But we're still going to make him do it. So I'll play my cards. Uh, nope. No need to happy trigger. Play this dude and pass. Yeah. It happens. I am starting to think though I am a little greedy splashing the scatter. All right, so let's see here. Let's, all right, well, I'm just gonna take the guy that's drawing you cards. I don't see why I wouldn't do that. I wonder if, I wonder why they didn't kill us though. It's a little interesting just because we're out of cards. We had, no, oh, well. All right, you got it, bud. I'll give it to you. Oh, man. I do think I'm greedy, so I'm going to go back. I, I... Uh... All right, I'll run one more game. I'm going to be entertaining. If we get the combo off, we get the combo off. Might as well, right? How many times are you going to get two cards like that in a limited seal pool? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, all right. This one has some potential. We have turn two, turn three, then might get that. Yeah, shield bash to buy some time. All right, I like this. I like this. I think it's a solid hand. Mm -mm. Uh, let's run. Yeah, we'll do the same thing as before. I'll play both. The sigils will leave us the most options in the next turn. I don't think our opponent's going to play around Torch. All right, cool. Uh, let's go with the Infiltrate guy. Because then we could potentially, if they we do get in there with the Snowball, we can use it to kill something. And especially if we wait. Um... Yeah, I'm okay here. If they want to use a combat trick, I'm more than okay with that. If they wanted to draw the card, that's fine. We're still saving us some damage. Oh. Yeah, all right. Fair. Fair. I thought they just might have wanted the card bad, but I guess not. Uh, Let's go with... Oh, yeah, we can't scheme here. Never mind. There's no, there's no discussion, so let's just go ahead our two, and I'll wait. Uh, I could have probably attacked there, and he may have not blocked. Um, but, meh, I don't think it was a, a position to, to bluff very highly. That could be a problem. Uh, do we stun? And get him for two, triggering snowball that lets these guys potentially kill that? Um, yeah. Oh, cool. And we get to scheme next turn. Oh, it'd be great if we could trigger a tribute. Then we could block all day. I think I might swing again, depending on what they play. Yeah, let's swing again. Oh, I guess they're not. 
They are a flying deck, that is for sure. Let's get in there. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and run her out there. I don't think our opponent's gonna try to block anything, so. Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So they could. Uh, do we want to give one of these things flying? Not really. So we just get out another big dude. Yeah, why not? Get a big dude out, and I'll pass. Start building up our air force to catch up with them. Oh, that's a little bummerish. Ooh. Now I wonder if I actually swing. And the reason why I say that is they will spend some resources to kill. And then we can cast Doom and they have no answer to it. Hmm. Oh, never mind. We don't have our second shadow yet. Okay. Uh, so let's scheme. And this guy will take a two out. Oh, no, it will take... Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. So, I mean, obviously there's an argument for the shadow, but I think this will let us combo off a little bit. So I can here kill this, use this to finish it, and now we're safe to attack with both. Maybe? Let's see what's up. They're contemplating it, so they have something. I'm really horrible. What do they have? Oh, they have the potentially give something quick strike. Okay. Or maybe they were just trying to figure out what to block with. Yeah, we were in a rush to get impending doom out. Yeah, that's fine. I think we have the ground covered. Ooh. Yep, and then we get a three to kill this dude. Oh, well, it's double again. All right, so we could probably give this guy flying. So let's get in there. Press the advantage right now. I feel like our opponent's just kind of spinning their wheels, trying to get deep in their deck, but not really doing much. Uh, this guy has endurance, but this guy will give us... A, did we use the snowball? Oh, we did. Yeah, so I'll just give this guy flying and pass. In pretty good shape. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, All right. Well, let's skin damage since they're stopping us from getting our uh, getting our infiltrate trigger. Yeah, and I, I think that was still the right call. Like, we're stuck on not having a uh, double shadow, so we're stuck on single shadow, but we're still able to attack and get in there now. Whereas, yeah, whereas before we would have just been waiting. Um, so we would have gotten one good attack in with the, uh, the quick draw, but yeah, nice. Took that one down. Doing pretty well thus far. All right, let's run it. Still haven't gotten the combo. That might be the goal for this month. Or, oh, excuse me, this week to uh, get the combo. Do it one time we got there. Four damage, draw four cards. All the yetis. Straight craziness. Let's see, let's see. Hmm. I don't think I like this hand. 
It's uh, our two units are high. We have some. This is does nothing. So we literally have one card to play. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and redraw this. That is not much better. Uh, yeah, let's drop down to six. All right, cool. I'll take it. Uh, let's just get our justice out there. All right. Oh, sweet. So we actually have a unit now. I was a little worried about that. that we're going to do this for. All right. So let's see. Summon Tranquil Squad gets a random battle skill. Then you may. Oh, yeah. Oh, we shortcut it. All right, let's wait. I mean, I guess we have no choice this time, but I still... Oh, Berserk. Nice. Berserk on a flyer. Always great. I will take that. When to use Berserk is always a good skill check. I like... That's a little awkward, but not horrible, because we will... Well, that won't work on it. Pass... We'll take that. Sorry about that. Discussing a potential podcast today. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Do I want to stun this? This guy comes a four. Um, no, actually, maybe we do just... This guy doesn't get any bigger, does he now? So, my rule is a fast spell. So, let's just get this out there. I, I really want to wait. On using shield bash to like something a little more relevant same thing with mob we have our removal right now so we don't want to get uh too crazy there we go see like i'd be a little more inclined to kill that everything else i can kind of deal with this thing would be a little out of hand so actually i th think Taking five though, it is a thing. Block here, stun that, eh, I'll wait. Play this next turn, we don't know yet. I can, I can kill this and then shoot that and then stun this. Yeah, that could be a thing, let's do that. Start sending the bleeding a little early. Before our guy dies, get rid of that. Block that. Now, of note, they are essentially our. Uh, of course, we get our colors. That's just great. All right. Well, I'm gonna get my guy on the board first. He's probably gonna swing, and that's okay. We have an execute for it, though. I think I'd rather shield bash it first. Uh, we're starting to get low on our removal spells. Hmm. Oh, well, that's a nice trade. Uh, so, this will trade here so I can execute, just not attack this turn. Shield. No, we have to play this. And it's, yeah, all right. Yeah, might as well. Take a hit of three, but this, either way, we're going to take a hit of three, but this way we get this guy out of the way. Cool. I was worried they were going to put on this guy. Yeah, that's I'm perfectly okay with that. We'll take four here, and then we will just execute it. Does he want to spend another turn doing that? Let's stun it. Hmm. How do we win this race? I mean, we get... 
Yeah, let's see. So if we stun this guy, he puts it on one of these guys and swings, or he just pumps it back up. We can execute it, play this, then he, he could still attack. We'll take five, and then we stun. But we are taking one damage. Yeah, I think we need to race now. He's top decking. Nope, I'll wait till... I'll hold off on the Berserk until we potentially get one of our tools. Maybe we do Chump Block here, though. Uh, maybe not. Okay. So that means he has the pump, but that's fine. Yeah. What has he got? What has he got? Oh, gosh darn it. All right, let's just kill this dude. Get in there. Nope, not yet. This guy's good for sure, chump block. And I think we're gonna win this one. Just because he's top decking. Actually, yeah, he's dead. No, he's not dead next turn. Close though. Yep. Uh, I don't want to get too low. He is playing red. All right. If I do this, they go down to one, right? Yeah, man, it's so nice if we had a pump. So, oh, no. I think I was still correct there because five would have gone to four. They could have, yeah. I am, though, going to trigger this now. Too bad we can't play two things. If I stun, yeah, I'm just going to stun draw. I like that better than chump blocking. Yeah, so now next turn we could drop two things. I like that. I think that's solid. He'll get in for three. Yeah, sweet. Awesome. Ugh. Not doing too shabby, not too shabby. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break, hit the head, grab a drink, and I'll be right back. Once again, appreciate you guys tuning in. And yeah, we'll finish these rounds.
All right, what is up, everyone? We are back. So, I crack this open real quick. We are doing some sealed, the uh, sealed league for eternal price of freedom for the month of February. So every week they give us X amount of packs for us to open and build a better deck and play against each other. Uh, last month we finished, uh, when we finished playing, we were above 500. We were like four something, 430. Made me think I was gonna get a legendary. And then uh, when everyone, I think that was probably about five days before the month ended. And then I guess everyone crammed at the very end and we dropped down to about 600. So such so is life. We had a pretty good deck, I feel. But we're doing all right tonight, or today anyways. Four and one, I will take it. Had a couple of nail biters. I'll probably try to post that clip on Twitch. Get some highlight reels and stuff like that going because man, some of these limited games are so close and crazy. So we'll see what's up. Wow, I just jumped with a lot of viewers real quick. Let me check something. See if someone hosted me or something like that. It's not. Sorry, I jumped off like 14 viewers or something. So I just want to check something. Or not. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. And we are actually going to pledge. Uh, reason being is. It has, well, actually, this hand isn't that great, but I will pledge. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, let's just get our two drop out there. I mean, we could, uh, yeah, never mind. <clears throat> I was going to see if this triggers the Renown on it, but it will transform into, oh, cool. I'm okay with them dirtling around right now. Not super thrilled about it, but it is a thing. I really want us to draw a little more gas though. I think I might have been a little ambitious with this hand. Uh, do, 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 do. Right. Yeah, nothing that I can see. All right, cool. Just making sure. All right, uh, oh, well, we got a flyer, so let's get in there for one first. Just get our value out of it. I really do want to start seeing some more power, though. Uh, I mean, we even pledged, and I think pledge is a great mechanic, especially uh, when it comes to limited play. There we go. Oh shoot, naturally got all our colors too. Well, can't hate that. The only issue is we're not really curving 
Oh yeah, I guess we are. Never mind. I take that back. I was gonna say we're not really curving out, but we totally are. One, two, or two, three, four. Oh, they have a fast spell. All right. Well, that probably means we're not attacking with scatter shot because now the goal is to get our yeti spies out there and doing their thing. Yep, well, that kind of... Oh, man, no! No! Oh, gosh. <sighs> and we don't have the double. Uh, all right, well, I'm just going to wait. Gosh, darn it. No. No. <laughs> oh, I'll block. You want to use a trick on it? I'm okay with that. I'm saying though, right, Chewy? Oh man, that was so like we were almost there, almost there. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't think I want to shapeshift this guy. Hmm. We can double block. We can just execute it. I don't think we have to waste. Uh, all right. Let's see what we get. Ooh, killer? All right, well, we're gonna kill the soul collector because this thing can get big. So I think it's right to give that guy killer. Um, oh, we can't just kill that dude though. That's a little bummer. Uh, let's see what our other, I guess we could just trade and upgrade this guy. Let's see. I'm gonna upgrade this guy, see if maybe we get lucky. Uh, and we absolutely did not. That was bad. Because now that can't block. Alright, well, that's horrible. Right? Yeah, alright, let's just get in there for one. I'm still going to keep this thing back because I just want to make sure we have a way, especially now that we're going to have to use execute on this guy because there's only so many terms we could take four. If this next one's a shadow, I'm going to be so bummed out. Well, that worked out in their favor. All right. Uh... All right, sweet. Got lucky. I'll take it. Execute this, guys. And swing for one. Ugh. Sure, Nate, any questions you got? All right, now I wish we kept one of these. All right, what are, well, I guess we just run out our, the mentor only works. A card with mentor is played, you may exhaust one of your, okay. I was wondering if maybe I could get lucky and exhaust their guy. Uh, let's just get our standard flyer out because I'm gonna maybe. Oh, I guess I could give this guy flying to occasionally get in there, but I kind of want to give Soul Collector flying as well. So let's pass. Uh, yeah, that was inconvenient. Inconvenient indeed. Still, oh, and we have it. We still have, like, Soul Collector's just not getting no value in any either. Um, let's give that guy flying. Do we play the Sigil here? Summon and War Cry. And it just dies to this guy? No, we wait. I'll hold off on the Sigil. I mean, that's what we kind of want to do. Oh, gross. Gross. All right, let's see. How do we stem the bleeding here? Guess we just play this dude and then give him flying. All these guys are dying and our soul collector is just sitting in our hand. This is so terrible. 
Oh yeah. Well, our opponent's kind of going off. I think we're in trouble. It's looking pretty bleak, honestly. I don't see how we're going to be able to come out of this one. Uh, let's see. Take six. We can get that stunned. Oh, we can... Okay. We can at least kill the weapon, I guess, for luck. Um, let's see. Let's see. Playing the sigil does nothing. We would have been in so much better shape. Uh... Oh well. Uh, let's see. I will. I mean, sw we switch this. He'll block here. We take out the weapon. And he just kills us on the backswing. I think we're just kind of we're done. So I'm just gonna go for style points, right? Because we'll we could block here, block here. That gives us one. No, he'll swing, kill this, block here, hit us for eleven. That gives us one more draw. Yeah, all right. I'll play. We'll see. I mean, we don't have a harsh rule or anything even then. Well, a harsh rule would make this a 0-5, but... All right, block here. Block. Oh, and they didn't attack. Interesting. So then do I not block? Yeah, I'm actually not going to block so we can get rid of the weapon. Yeah, I might as well... They can't draw cards, so that's a good thing. What else we got going on? What else? What else? Uh, that's not going to do it. All right, GG, bro. All right, what is there? I thought that my usual place is on one, two. Uh, I say 1.5, uh, Nate, because I kind of gauge it based on the students that I have. A reason being is it's it's on paper it's a level one beginners class but um all right i don't think the combo is gonna happen so i hate to do it but i will take it out uh, where's, all right so let's see what we put back in i think in most cases now mortar might have been all right maybe we put the flyer in what else I don't really feel like we're good one units plus one scout. Maybe we run this. I feel like we are a little light on combat tricks. So I think we actually run either that. I don't like endure. Like it's zero, which is reputable because you can use it always, but it saves your guy. Do you want to put in the shield mate just for that's removal, but we are already kind of high. Hmm. Give me a second, chat. Nothing else in here is really crazy for me. At least I'm not thrilled about. Yeah, I do run that guy and just slow down the game a little bit. Let my flyers take care of it. And then what do we do about power? Uh, let's go back up to double there you go i feel better about that all right cool all right let's run it back okay uh of note uh i don't know if our games have really run long enough to where that the spore head would have made a difference so anyways nate answer your question the um uh, so yeah i'm i pretty much teach level one stuff all the time and i'm really oh do i keep this just because we have a turn four impending doom we also don't have blue. No, no, that's being greedy. Let's be the adults about this and, and ship it. Because if they have an answer... All right, well, I really wish it would have gave us back the... Uh, oh boy, but at least we have all our colors, so I'll keep this. Um, And we could potentially tinker something away. But... Yeah, let's... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what my opponent's playing. Oh, no. We'll, we'll play it. I typically like to wait on playing my deadly units, especially the one ones, because they're so easy to kill. They could potentially, there's so much incidental things like snowballs and whatnot that can kill them, but at the same time, all right. So here, let's get in for one first. It'd been great if I could give in quick draw to this guy. 
All right, uh, let's see what we got. Do, 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 do. And we get double damage, ooh. Uh, man, I guess we kinda just gotta, that's a bummer. If we could give it to our pending doom. Yeah, we'll give it to Intimidator. All right, um, so yeah, uh, I teach level one is what the class is, but if I get a bunch of my students that have been coming for months and they're kind of past the level one thing, it's just their conditioning that's mer. Oh, I'm actually okay with that. Uh, hmm, I don't want to pitch this. I don't want to pitch that. So I think I just straight up play because this card, it will draw us a card and it has evasion. So let's just get in there for one. I'm just gonna play it for a 2-2 and call it a day. Just play it as a 2-2, no tinker, and pass. So I think you'll be fine. Like, come to the class, I'll uh, teach whatever I'm planning on teaching, and if it's too easy for you, then I'll figure out a way to make it more difficult, like I do for some of the students. And if it's not, then hey, you're in good shape. Uh, let's see what this guy. So let's play directly, draw a card. Uh, sure, I'm okay trading. I didn't think so. Let's go ahead and drop this dude. <laughs> I also teach a conditioning class on Sundays. Uh, not every Sunday. It's based on whether we have a workshop or not. Uh, let's see. Give a unit. I steal an unblockable this turn. Okay. That's relevant. Yeah, it's not bad. So you can check that out as well. All right. Ooh, we are going to get to draw a card off this guy. So, uh, yeah, I'm okay trading. And you would take six in that exchange. Never lucky. Mm, I don't know about that. Okay. And I'm okay because next turn I'm going to draw a card and make this a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, I think we're okay. There's an argument, I could have left this back to block, but... Well, now he's gonna be left back to block. So... a Little bit of a bummer, but we'd rather just draw a card. Yep, let's get that free card. So right now my opponent and I are even. Uh, I don't really want to trade here. So I'll wait. Especially since he's gonna pump this guy up to a four just about every other turn that being said i don't want to take five a turn so i will pitch the spider that's fine oh it's a little awkward do i want to trade i don't know if i do or not i don't think i should we're not that far ahead he'd gain a life we have I have that one combat trick now where I could potentially two for one. We can give this guy killer and kill of one. That's uh, a little bit of a bummer, but. Yeah, I'm going to wait. I, uh, I have a tendency sometimes to throw away units sometimes too aggressively and it just killing his two for one. Yeah, it's a two for one, but there's really nothing to be gained here, especially when I can potentially block them individually. Revenge going units plus one this turn. All right, it's kind of neat. They're all the unblockable things. All right, that doesn't do much, uh, but I will just run it out there. Some more stuff that we can give a plus one to. Oh, uh, hmm. Hmm. That's a little awkward. So. Hmm. How do we do this? Do I shield bash the five that we could trade for, or shield bash the four that keeps giving it to everybody? I could potentially attack. All right, now I want to keep this and do the go wide. 
then we have a chance, you know, especially with this dude swing in there. So next turn. Especially if they like go all out and swing on us. Oh, that's gonna take two turns. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna wait to have a big turn. So let's see, it's one, two, six, eight, nine, 10, 11. And we'll probably block this guy. It's 11, we'll go to nine, then we could crack back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh yeah, yeah, all right, let's do that. And I think I want to make sure I hit the primal sigil next turn. So I'm actually going to hold off on the slow stinger, even though I really don't want to. Um, yeah, we could have attacked this guy if we do play it. This guy does have double damage. What are the benefits of us attacking here? Yeah, I think we wait a turn. I feel like we're going to do better with like one big swing than we are uh okay that's fine okay i panicked for a second not gonna lie got a little nervous uh yeah so they're either looking for the spark of the tr oh man it would have definitely all right so let's see they block four gain two they go up to 19 and they block our biggest four which would be one two all right so they'll take one two three four five six <clears throat> seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen that's not enough and they could block all four they'd lose two units Yeah, let's do it. What do we lose here? So we attack. We draw a couple of cards though. Keep this back. Oh, they didn't draw a sigil. That is of note. If I hit with all four. Yeah, and they lose two guys. I'm okay with that. I think this is a fine trade because we're getting two of their guys off their board. Um, I still have a blocker for their biggest dude. Ooh. Ooh, that is really interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna play this and not mentor, or I'll mentor. Oh, that was dumb. I should give it to the flyer. Oh, well, we're fine. I did that because this guy, does he not have endurance? Oh, okay. That was my fault. Then I should have execute that guy. Okay. I don't think we're dead yet. Oh, sweet. All right, cool. Got there. That was a little bit of a tough one to negotiate. I feel like it was a fine line. Um, of note, they didn't get a sigil at all. So I'm really surprised that I let us draw that many cards. I really thought they were gonna at least make, like block them all and then we would make trades. I was okay with that because we were still trading. Potentially we wasted one card and a sigil to take out two of their units. I think that would have been fine. Cool, five and two, got three games left. Let's see how it goes. Appreciate you guys tuning in. If you like what you're seeing, by all means hit that like button and potentially follow so you guys can check it out whenever I stream. I have my schedule right now. I'm trying to stream Tuesdays and Sunday or Tuesdays and Saturdays for sure in the afternoons and then some evenings or early mornings, depending on how you see it when I get off of work, which is three, four o'clock in the morning central time. So take it as you will. Uh, I do ranked climb the ladder. So standard play or constructed as well as limited. Uh, I try to keep this game as close to free to play as I can. So I don't draft all the time. I pretty much draft when I do well and have enough um, gold to do it. 
That being said, I do win some drafts, so it pretty much cues me up for another one right away. So definitely tune in. I post stuff on YouTube all the time. Uh, any videos I do, drafts, I record them all. Seals, I'm recording this one right now. And yeah, I'll go up there. So you guys, if you missed anything or came in late, you can tune in and check them out later. Right, let's redraw that. I don't like one power. Uh, this one is not good either. I guess we could potentially ship our new watch, but you know, the Tinker, but uh, we got two, three. No, I think, I think it's worth going down a card there. All right. This is not great either, but at least we can play both our cards. Do, 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 do. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to pledge that. I just, I really don't like keeping two power hands. So I really like, take it easy. Thanks for joining in, Nate. Uh, yeah, we're just going to kill this dude. Uh, do you want to take? Yeah, he can't pump it. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know. Play the guy first. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, that's actually a tough one. Hmm. Yeah, I think I kill. So. This guy's gonna trade with everything on our deck, regardless. This guy's a flyer that we have no answer for right now, and is one power greater. Man. It's gonna hold off our attack, but we may not. Yeah. Think. Correct play here is to do this. Plus he gets the scout. Yeah. Not thrilled about that. We'll find out later on. Actually, let me know in the chat if you think I should have gone for the deadly unit versus the flyer. Typically like playing for the long game, but sometimes when I do play for the long game, it has bit me in the butt occasionally where like, yeah, all right, I'll take the deadly guy and I'll have an answer for the flyer. And then if I don't get an answer for the flyer, I'm kind of doomed. It was of note that we did have... Um, we could have potentially hit this to hit the Renown trigger and killed that versus here at Wood Trade. So I guess that would probably lead me a little more into killing this dude. But uh, I'm, eh, I kind of want to put this on a flyer or something a little more relevant. Let's draw blue. Blue or green. Uh, I think I would rather have the option of getting uh, our Elian's elite, elite out. So I'm going to go with double blue there. Uh, versus double green. <laughs> Lustful Thin, thanks for subscribing or following. Appreciate that very much. I wonder why I didn't hear it. I apologize. If anyone has followed um, while I was streaming, I apologize. I didn't hear the alert. So actually, let me move this to where I can see it when it does happen. Cool. Hopefully now, <clears throat> I'll see you when you guys have subscribed. But once again, Lustful Sin, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, so let's go ahead. Ooh, so we still get to kill a flyer, so I'm okay with that. And yeah, so we'll run Soul Collector out this turn. No sense sacrificing a guy right now. Uh, this way we can kill the flyer and then attack and then they'll have to answer. Oh man, all the deadly stuff. Miss things deadly too, right? Yeah. That's a little rough. So let's see. Deadly. Slap this on, kill the flyer. And when another unit dies. Sweet, so it counts both sides of the board. Um, don't know if I want to play... This guy first. Yeah, sure. Be most efficient with our power. And then that way, next turn, I can quick draw. Yeah, actually, I like that. And we'll get him for some extra. Yeah, I like that. That's a better play. I might actually even wait one turn longer if we get our six sigil. Play this, then give everything quick draw and then swing.
All right, it makes it, oh, uh, let's see. So then, yeah, I'll wait a turn. Oh, plus it triggers this, yeah, I'll wait a turn. I think we're fine waiting. Next, next turn, I wish it was quick draw. Well, now I think I'm just gonna kill that thing because this is gonna get huge. Wish I had more ways of triggering. I have that one combat trick that will trigger Renown as well, but if I'm gonna waste it, I'd rather waste it on the guy that gets bigger than just the one two that eventually gets there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yep, we will take one. So. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunate. Man, this keeps changing the math a little bit. All right, so we're gonna draw at least one card off of this. But then I put this on something that could die potentially versus if I put it on the flyer, it becomes a four three but we don't get to kill this guy so as horrible as that sounds i think i'm gonna make the adult play yep let's pump up our guys and quick draw is gonna keep this dude alive right i have to triple block this guy oh wait yeah because we're gonna kill Ooh, quick draw means this guy won't, oh. Oh, but we lose, oh gosh darn it. Yeah, so with quick draw, it actually works with killer, so we can kill this guy and not lose a unit, but then we still have to do with the flyer. Oh, that sucks. There we go, now we can get in there. Draw some gas, hopefully. Good news is, two guys are gonna get in, we're gonna draw two cards, we may potentially, well, we're gonna lose two guys, but that's gonna pump her up. Yeah, we're not doing too bad. I mean, we still have to deal with the deadly unit, so. That's crazy. People just keep letting us draw all these cards. That's nuts to me. I mean, all right. Cool, I mean, figure let me draw, I'll take them. All right, let's see. Oh, hmm. Do we trade for this guy, but we can snowball it? Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. It's a little bit of a hit, but we have answer for this guy, answer. Oh, well, that's slightly unfortunate now. Because we're not gonna get our snowball, and that's just not cool. We had all the reasons to get a snowball. All right, we can't attack with this guy, sadly. Uh, let's just flood the board. I think we can wait on screen. And I will hold on to a sigil uh, in case we get... Ooh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Oh. Eh, I still want to wait. I want to hold off on that because that could block a lot of things. I like it. So we'll pass. <laughs> Mm -mm. Does this thing get double renown? Or double killer? Yeah. What did, which one did they play? Split your spells, deal one hour damage. Yeah, that's good. Got some use out of it for sure. Now, if I could just mint. Alright, so let's scheme to something good. Mm hmm. Just how we wrote it up, ladies and gentlemen. Well, let's go ahead and this one big, and now we wait. 
right, next turn we will turn this into 2-2 two -two and swing and start taking chunks of them out in the air. Uh, that's a thing. That is a thing, I won't take it lightly. What you got, bro? We do have a Dudley for it, so I'm okay with there. Uh, I'm gonna hold off. Oh, I should have shifted that back. We don't have a trick, so yeah. Okay. Wonder why they didn't do it pre -com or post combat. They would have triggered the spark. It could be tilting. I mean, that's a thing. Let's see why. All right. So, what's the most efficient blocks we have here? Oh, this guy for sure. Oh, this guy doesn't, he didn't trigger. So yeah, we're gonna block here, block here, block here, here. And then we take four and everything's profitable. Yeah, I think they're tilting. I think we have it and they know it. Unless they have a flyer, but we have too much air power now. Still crazy that our opponent lets two opponents almost back to back let us draw four cards off of maybe three and then four off of our uh, Yeti spies. Like, I feel that's insane to me. Um, yeah, there's no sense to. Yeah, that way if they kill one, we still have lethal on two separate sides of the board. Let's do it this way. All right, cool. We got there. I just didn't want to potentially leave this guy back to block, and then they kill this dude, and they take five, and they get another swing. Sweet. Doing pretty good today. Appreciate everyone that is tuning in. Much oblige. Hope you are finding this quite entertaining. Uh... Creeping up, finally got above a thousand, but I'm not too excited yet because uh, for those of you just tuning in, I did manage to get top 500 last month and then the last, I think the last two days, I ended up dropping the six something, so can't get too overly excited. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, let's see what we got, what we got. Uh, hmm. Two that we can play, and then three, three with no pledge. Six is pretty much a mulligan, and we can't play this. Uh, I think we can do better, so I'm gonna go ahead and ship it. Do, 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 do. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna, uh, there we go, I like this better. We can play our cards. Uh, of note, we don't have our shadow, but I don't want you to want to drop a card. So, and I'm actually gonna pick a different song for you guys real quick. Uh, let's go with. This one. Cool. All right. Uh, so let's just go ahead and run out. Plain old boring primal sigil. Sweet. Step one. Got there. And let's run out our potential snowball creator. All right, come on, come on. Two draws for another shadow. Two draws, two draws. We got this. All right. Uh... Man, I actually kind of think I kill that now. As horrible as it sounds. Well, we have a turn. So let's see what they do. Ah, darn it. I was hoping they won a block. I guess I could have, but I wanted to get something else on the board. I think that's a little bit stronger. I hate sacrificing a turn just to kill something, especially that small. But I've seen this guy get out of hand. 
Uh, that's why I'm constantly using a removal spawn on it right now. Alright. That doesn't count as damage. That's a bit of a bummer. Alright, we're not at it yet. Ah, oh, man. Uh, I'll wait a turn. Uh, this is a fast spell, so we can essentially wait, but I don't want to wait too long, because like I said, I've seen this card just get crazy. But I think in limited, there's not a... Okay, cool. Oh, uh, man. I'll wait. All right. Not thrilled yet. Not thrilled. I would like to make some more plays. Oh, really? Uh... It's not bad though. All right, we have the potential now for doing some work. Let's uh, give this guy flying. And now I feel a lot better. I feel like we have a little bit of a cushion to play this now for three. Uh, of note, they haven't, oh, they were stuck on power. All right, let's see what's up. Ugh. Man, man. Oh, sweet, all right, cool. Uh. See if they block. Yeah, darn it. No fooling this opponent. All right, well, maybe next turn. Ooh, do I draw a bunch of cards? Mm -mm. Nope, we're gonna go to the skies. Cause then I still have mob rule up. So I think that's the most efficient play. We could start beating down now I think we have a solid answer for this guy. We could just double block because this guy has significantly lost his value. So I'll probably mob rule the flyer just so we could get in there for eight instead of five. It speeds up the clock significantly. Was this ultimate when you play a unit? When an MU is stunned, play gem blade. Ooh, hmm. That's horrible. Yeah, I'm just going to kill that. Yeah, I know. It's not the best play, but... And let's get our second. There you go. Uh, I just... I, that guy would have been a... Would have been a... Oh, they actually might not have that many ways to stun, though. Maybe that was a mistake. We'll see. All right, so our opponent would have been 16 now if we killed that guy. So we'll see. And we'll see if they have any stun effects. We'll keep track of it. I normally like to kind of... I try not to be... Res all right, so that guy wasn't long for this world anyways. Oh, and we still have a solid blocker. All right, let's draw some cards. We're going to lose two, but draw two, and I'm okay with that. Let's see what we got going on. Man, that, those, yeah, these are, all right, all right. All right, draw one. Maybe that was not as good. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wait. We could still really easily chump block this dude, so. All right, so luckily the guy wouldn't have died, uh, or our three, two would have died right away. So we did make the correct play there, taking out the more long-term threat versus the kind of right in our face. Cause at the end of the day, it's just a one, four. Uh, that can't really block this profitably either. It will give him five life, but uh, we would have only gotten one swing in with the three two, and then it would have lost, which he gained four off of it, so kind of gave the swing anyways. Versus this guy would have been five five, then potentially eight eight. And we have no deadly unit out yet, so I think we made the right call. Uh, <sighs> All right, well, let's uh. Kill the f huh, I don't think we need to do anything yet. Oh man, really deadly out of all the things. All right, let's get the flyer out of the way too. I just, what? When you play a curse, play a 3 d unsee random battle skill. Well, those didn't work out well for me. 
at all. Made this guy bigger. Made both of them better. <laughs> Maybe it was a little premature on that. We'll see. It'd be a shame we end up losing because of that. And what's bad is we have a bunch of 3-3 flyers, so... I just swing. Offer the trade. He can't swing it at me. And then we get swing. Yeah. All right, buddy. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I'll play it. Yeah, because the one guy that matter in power matters. We just played already. Uh, what are we looking for? What are we looking for? Um, okay. It's a little unfortunate. Uh, we're looking for execute. Hmm. Yeah, that's really good for our opponent. I think we just block there. Sounds horrible. We're taking seven. Then they'll take five. They could take seven too. Then we win this race. They're top decking. And we could, oh, we don't have a relic though, so we can only kill this dude. Oh man, that's unfortunate. But yeah, we can already block this dude. We can't kill that guy. Oh, we're not blocking. Let's get in there for seven. Oh, well then. Yeah, uh, that was really unfortunate, actually. Extremely unfortunate for us. And they haven't had another way to gain life, so that thing was going to stay where it was at. That's very... Those upgrades, man. I'm going to try not to be results orientated and not think that card sucks. It did save us twice already. Um, we're just... Ugh. Uh, we can't block anything. We can kill this, but it doesn't really matter. Block this, block that, take. Let's see, yeah, we still. Hmm. Yeah, they got it. Ugh. Bummer. All right, cool. All right, no, it's still bad, not bad. We're still above 1,000, we got one game, let's go. Let's see if we can finish 7-3. I got faith in us, we can do this, chat. We got this. Her doctor. Uh, nope. Just not doing nothing. So it has five sigils potentially, but our first plays are on turn four. Uh, we're also on the draw, so we're going to be behind. And we already know from my experiences that every time I do that, our opponent's always aggro. <sighs> oh, gosh. All right. Well, I don't want to go down to... So... Sand is even slower. It has our colors. Maybe we could buy some time with this. I don't know. We'll give it a shot, see what's up. Alright. Uh, let's get double shadow going. Since we get lucky and draw some things. I think maybe the correct play might have been the mulligan there still. Even going down to one card. Alright, scheme saved us. Not gonna lie. 100% saved us there. It'd be great if we can get our impending doom all right we get to play all our spells i'm okay with this uh no impending doom so let's see yeah uh i really don't want to put this on the bottom but four five six yeah Cause we just have to assume our opponent has a turn four play or not. Ooh, maybe 
Oh, were they missing color? Okay, yeah. And they got it. Now they're good. So. All right, all right. So of note, there are four four flyers on the bottom of the deck. That's a little unfortunate, but not horrible. I wonder if I'm willing to sack this guy to engage tribute. And maybe. All right, well, we're gonna trade that guy because we don't want that guy to get ridiculous. <sighs> or that. <laughs> yep. Is this, ooh, okay, cool. So let's, um, hmm. yeah, I'm just gonna run her out there. We have an answer to this guy. We could play these dudes, hold these off, so. <laughs> just a smidge disappointing there let's get our double justice run our spider to block their big guy and pass man oh wow yeah i they've had the right answer for all our cards i think we're kind of out of luck here Get our Yetis out. We'll stop this guy from getting bigger now because we don't have a good answer for him. It's a little bit better, not by much. Luckily, we could block three other dudes. Yep, and answer, answer, answer. Very efficient, mind you. Very efficient answers. Hey, that's limited sometimes. I'm not really too upset. <laughs> yep, I think we actually have to. Sh yeah, I'll, I'll trade. I can't take that much damage. Ooh. We'll just chump block everything, right? I can do both, though. So let's. See what that turns into. Sweet. And let's. Yep. Wait, do I die then? <sighs> I think I have to leave a guy back. He'll block, block, the one will make it through. Yeah. Just attack with the one, draw one card. Ooh, man, oh my God, this game is crazy. Yeah, our opponent has literally had every answer, like perfectly, well played. All right, well, guess we're finishing six and four. I'm not too upset about that, it's a good start. We had some fun games. We got a little lucky on one of them, so I think maybe we're actually closer to five, five, but yeah, that's solid. Yeah. All right, well, I guess I'll just uh, kind of do this little number. See what uh what happens here. Oh, I guess I could have killed that guy too. There's really no point. Play this guy, block. Yeah, you got it, you got it. Nice. Well, they took it down, that's for sure. So close, so close. Oh, well, nice. Uh, we have some tiebreaker games, I think, or no, let me see. Yeah, we got 20 tiebreaker games. Eh, I think we'll wait. I think our deck could be a little bit better. Um, at least finishing, we're already creeping up on the top 500. Hopefully we can kind of stay with a positive record throughout the weeks. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna try to pretty much do at least the sealed every week on Tuesdays and then do some constructed as well. But yeah. Once again, this is Jedi from Eternal Journey, the podcast. Definitely check it out. Get some tips and tricks on limited play. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll probably be on later. We'll see. I actually have to do some work for... Uh... Yeah, I know, right? I didn't want to say anything, but someone had to say it. Right, Marvin? Uh, go figure. Someone needs to beat me real quick.
or it's just good luck or bad luck. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it wasn't too bad. Actually, we'll play some a couple of constructed games. So I'm going to leave limited now. Let me go ahead and stop this video.